Hello everyone, welcome back to the Real Time Game Time Let's Play. I'm Scott Bloom, and I'm still playing... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm still playing Mass Effect 2 for the Xbox 360. Okay, so we have Garrus, we have Morden. It's time to get out of here. Alright, let's see here. Upgrades. Can't do anything yet. Oop, er, er. Research terminal. What can we do? <coughs> Already on 2500. I think we could do both. Okay. Assault rifle damage, one, submachine gun damage. Alright. Well, I can't do anything with that yet. Alright. Armor upgrades. Okay, let's do that. Prototypes. Advanced training. Alright. Ho oh. <clears> ho! <throat> okay. Alright, what do I want? Eh, armor piercing ammo. All right. <clears throat> Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Of course. And da -da 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 -da. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you are actually are alive, I need you you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put us on the council, and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Okay. <clears throat> so. There it is. Let's head over to the Citadel. Okay, start scanner, why not? And no, you know, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that uh, off the clock. Citadel. Only bad thing about uh, that the Citadel in this game is that you can't freely explore it. <clears throat> like you could in the first. But that's the only gripe.
<sighs> Who do I want to take with me? Taking these two. I'll take Morning Gears. <clears throat> <laughs> Keep that. Keep that. Okay. Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs. Then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But, I can see you're a busy woman. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done. That'd be great. <clears throat> done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. I may be good, but I'm not that good. <laughs> Alright. Transit. I heard that those lights. All right. <clears throat> Let's go up to the Presidium. <clears throat> This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. Counselor Udina isn't available, but as his top advisor, I speak with his full authority and approval. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... Unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, they think they're working for the Reapers. 
The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. <laughs> we believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. If Councilor Udina were here, he wouldn't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. And I'll Anderson, do. we need to talk <clears throat> about... <clears throat> Shepard. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You went to the Council behind my back. Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you still had no right to do this without my knowledge. Maybe it's time the Alliance found me a new advisor. Anderson took an impossible situation and turned it into a win for both sides. You can say you knew all along? Or you can explain to the Alliance how you want to replace me for doing your job. You don't leave me much choice, but I know this game. I'll tell the other counselors I'm on board. So long, counselor. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. I think it would be best if I kept my distance. Strictly for appearances, of course. What an ass. <laughs> as bad as Udina was before, he's ten times worse now that he's part of the Council. Better him than me, though. And he's done a good job promoting Alliance interests with the Citadel. You haven't forgotten how you got here. The rest of them, they're buried in procedure. Some of that is necessary. This place, the scale of it, doesn't hit you even when you're standing in it. But crack the files on interspecies relations, there's no end. We don't need an outside threat, Shepard. The balance here seems like it's fragile enough. How the last couple years treated you? Working for Udina isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not <clears throat> wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Nope.
don't plan to either. Alright, uh... Let's get out of here. Okay, you know what? I am going to call it a wrap right here and uh, uh yeah. Uh da -da 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 -da. I will do some uh, mining and uh yeah. So thank you for watching and stick around for more Mass Effect 2. See you later.